I was at home watching a movie with a lady, and we watched the end of the movie, Michael, and it was very good. And we talked for about 20 minutes, and then she said that she should go home. And I said, okay, I'll get the, get the car started. I got up, took one step, I hit the floor. I was out cold for six and a half, seven weeks. I finally came to in the hospital. Uh, I was in the hospital for six and a half months. And after six and a half months, they wheelchaired me out and home. And my men take care of me, right? We got a personal uh, person that was a medical person involved with me. And he used to come over like twice, three times a, uh, a, to visit me and talk to me and stuff like that. It was about three and a half years with no memory. It, I was just a basket case. I couldn't remember nothing. I couldn't do nothing. I went to eat, and I, my choice of eating was just, my mother would just freak out and just throw it in the garbage and give me something new. They took me under their wing. They talked to me, and they introduced me to people, let me go visit people, very structured and stuff like that, and it taught me how to get along with people. I started going to the gym from Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, which I still do, okay? And through that, and talking to people and all this stuff, it slowly but surely came around. And I can say now, after 22 and a half years, I'm normal, or almost normal. And I'm still getting things adding together, putting together, and it's a long, hard journey, but it's worth it. Brain trust means so much to me. Like I go to two classes a week here. I can't wait until that time comes. They, you tell me that you're here for as long as I'm alive. Well, you guys are going to be working that way for another 24, 25 years because I don't, I love brain trust.